cut off? Hi. I know I'm going to get cut off by the announcement, so if I could please just have Brandon's attention, that'd be perfect. So let me just go through this because announcements are probably going to come up. So remember, guys, rate of change, right? Slope. What we need to do is we need to find the change in our x over the change. Or I'm sorry, the change in the y over the change in x. First thing you guys need to label your x and y coordinates. Then we just subtract our y's. All right. So I'm just going through this. If I want to find the change in these two y values. I do my y, negative 2, minus 4, all over 3 minus a negative 4. So negative 2 minus 4 is a negative 6 over, these becomes double negative, which becomes a 7. So your answer is a negative 7 fourths. Okay? Or I'm sorry, negative 6 sevenths. Okay. Let's set up this one. Again, bus 547 is going to be the bus carrier for bus 155. All right. Um, excuse me. I'm not done yet. Thank you. So if I look at this one, I subtract the two y values. 5 minus 5, and then I subtract 1 minus negative 4. What I look is what I obtain is 0 over 5. 0 divided by anything is always going to be... Zero. So for this problem, your slope is zero. Last one. Six minus a negative four over two minus two. Now I have 10 divided by zero. This is very important for you guys to understand. Whenever you have a number divided by zero, you actually have an undefined slope. Okay? So that we don't have an answer. Our answer actually is going to be undefined. So the slope of this line is undefined. There is actually not a value for the slope. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay.